everyone, it's me. So today, I am going to share all the mystery and the intrigue of Canada's Tim Hortons. As you can see, I have bought some things from Tim Hortons. And I'm going to tell you what you should buy there, what you should avoid, and what is Tim Hortons. Now, is this just an excuse for me to eat sweets and call it a YouTube video? Yes. Yes, it is. So without further ado, let's go. Now, there is a further ado because i got to get it off my shoulders. Off my shoulders. It's off my chest, isn't it? God. I had set up a really nice shot outside in my parents' backyard here in beautiful Ontario, Canada. It's a lovely day. I got it all set up, all my goodies outside. It looks really great. And then the neighbor turned on his tractor. And so now we are inside. Anyway, let's get to it. I am starving. Now, first up, we're going to do a famous Tim Hortons bagel because I am starving. And this video is not about you, it's about me. Now, a lot of people say that I say bagel wrong. Bagel. That's how you say it, all right? You can take that to the bank. Now, if you're going to Tim Hortons, did I jump the gun? I'm just really hungry. I'm not thinking properly. Let me back up. Tim Hortons is a now global, but it is a huge Canadian chain that is very popular across Canada. Specifically, I find Ontario is a really big supporter of Tim Hortons. Now, I would consider it a coffee shop, like a cafe kind of thing, but in more recent years, they've started doing more like soups and sandwiches and paninis and I think even burgers at one point. But to me, Tim Hortons is very much about the drinks like the hot drinks, the ice drinks, the bagels, and the donuts. So that is what I've got. That's what I think you should get as well. And the bagels in particular are some of my absolute favorites and I am salivating. So the best ones to go for at Tim Hortons is an everything bagel, which is, as you can imagine, it's just got everything on it. Just an absolute mess of a bagel. Number two is a sesame seed bagel, which is really fabulous. Might even be my favorite one, actually. I'm not sure. Wonderful. Number three is a cinnamon raisin bagel. Normally, I don't like raisins, but a cinnamon raisin is just really nice. Okay? Those are the top three, in my humble and correct opinion. I would recommend either getting it toasted with butter or toasted with cream cheese. That's the basics. Personally, you can get other weird stuff, but this isn't a video about weird stuff you can get at Tim Hortons. This is about the beginner's guide, okay? So go ahead, get yourself a nice bagel toasted with either butter or cream cheese. Now I'm gonna eat mine because I'm so hungry. So they didn't have sesame seed and they didn't have everything bagel at the Tim Hortons that I went to. So I got a cinnamon raisin with butter. I mean, it's cold now because it took forever to set up, <laughs> but cheers. Yum. Now, Tim Hortons bagels are not fancy. You go to a, a nice little cafe, you're going to find better bagels. But to be honest, there's something so comforting about a Tim Hortons bagel. It's what I always used to order, and I haven't had them in what feels like years since I've been living in England. But now that I'm back in Ontario, I just, I love their bagels. Okay, and if you are going to go to Tim Hortons, make sure you get one of those, all right? Just enjoy. Now, of course, Tim Hortons is known for its coffee. Um, you either kind of love it or you hate it, I find. You either think that it's watered down garbage water or that you like obsess about Tim Hortons coffee. You're kind of one or the other. And in defiance of that rule, I am in the middle because I don't care. Now, I don't really drink Tim Hortons coffee. And I didn't growing up because, you know, I was a child, but I thought it would be only right to get a Tim Hortons coffee for the video. I mean, when in Rome, right? When in Ontario. Cheers. Mmm, lukewarm. Now, I don't know if you know this, but we are in the middle of a lockdown. Did you know that? Crazy, isn't it? So, Tim Hortons is closed to the in-store in, in store 
stuff, but they still run their drive through So I got all this stuff through the drive through um, the, the women working there were so kind and they were so funny. So cheers to them if you're watching. I don't remember your name, but you're very kind about my large and very strange order. I don't remember what I was where I was going with that. Oh, yes, now I do. So it takes like 20 minutes to drive there and 20 minutes back. So by the time we got home, it had been sitting for 20 minutes. And then I tried to set up outside and that didn't work. So then I had to come in here and set up. So it's not quite hot anymore, but it tastes fine. You know, it's fine. A typical Canadian Tim Hortons coffee order would be to get a double-double. You've probably heard that before. So that would be two creams and two sugars in their Tim Hortons coffee. To each his own, I guess. To me, it just tastes like a little bit watered down. It's not, it's not punchy. Does that make sense? It's fine. There are better things to get at Tim Hortons. But we'll take one more sip for the road. So next up at Tim Hortons, we get a donut, obviously. Can you see him slumbering in there? Now at Tim Hortons, there are two types of donuts that you can get. You can get a regular size donut, like this one, and they have a whole bunch of different kinds. And a lot of times they have like seasonal ones that are crazy that are only around for like a short time. I know at Halloween they have Halloween inspired donuts. So you can get a donut, a big donut, or you can get some Timbits. The Timbits are, I think, technically the donut hole. So they're just like little bite sized donuts. Both of them have their merits. So let's do a big donut first because I need the sugar. And I'm trying to put this into a video idea so I can justify consuming all of this stuff. So naturally, I went for a maple glazed donut. All right, oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Cheers. Now again, these donuts, they're not Krispy Kreme donuts, okay? Don't let any of this fool you. These are not high, high quality donuts, but they're good. You will find them everywhere. Tim Hortons is literally on every street corner. And there is something really comforting about getting Tim Hortons. Maybe that's only because I was raised around Tim Hortons. And if I wasn't, it would mean nothing to me. Maybe. Who knows? But their donuts are still wonderful. All right. They're just not Krispy Kremes, but they also don't cost as much as Krispy Kremes. So this particular one, it's just like a regular donut base and they dip it in this wonderfully sugar maple glaze. Another one that I really love is a chocolate dip donut. So it's the same donut, but it's dipped in chocolate on the front and it's just like the same sort of consistency. But I mean, you want a donut and a coffee, Tim Hortons will do it in a pinch and it's really not that expensive. Now, I'm not really a maple Canadian. There, I said it. I'm a bad Canadian. I don't really like maple things, but a maple dip donut, is they're really good. So give them a shot. When you go to Tim Hortons, as your beginner lesson, maybe get a coffee, get a bagel for, for sure. I can't even say it fast enough to, like, get a bagel, okay, please. And then maybe try out uh, a maple donut or one of the crazy donuts they have. I'm gonna eat the rest of this off camera, but we should continue on. Now, next up, we have one of my all-time favorite Tim Hortons items. Now, I actually went on social media and I asked you guys, what's your favorite thing to get from Tim Hortons? And so many people said ice cap. And guess what? I agree. So an ice cap is an iced cappuccino. This is a small, if you can believe it. And the, um, the caffeine and the sugar content is insane. Now we also get plastic straws from Tim Hortons. That upset a lot of people. I posted a picture recently of my ice cap. This is actually my second one of the of the of 2020, which is crazy. A lot of people got really upset that I had a plastic spoon. And by plastic spoon, I mean plastic straw. And for everybody upset, please. We have bigger issues right now. 
Now an ice cap is so good. It is so sweet. It is really, it's an iced cappuccino, but it's kind of almost like a slushy sort of texture. And it's... How about we have a story time while I drink this? My first job, I worked at a library. Did you know that about me? I was thinking about being a librarian. Quickly changed my mind, but I still worked at a library as my first job. And I remember in the summertime specifically, we would get one hour lunch breaks, which was so long and boring. So what I used to do is I'd leave the library, I'd walk to the Tim Hortons. There was actually like three within walking distance. And I live in a small town. So I'd walk to one of them and I would get an ice cap and a bagel for lunch. And I'd sit in there and I'd eat and I'd listen to my iPod and like, childhood. So there's definitely a sense of like nostalgia with Tim Hortons. I mean, we've covered that quite extensively, I think. So maybe from an outsider looking in, it's not that great. But there's something about, you know, I was like 16 and I'd walk to Tim Hortons, I'd get my ice cap, I'd get my bagel, maybe get a donut or like a small pack of Timbits as a treat. And that was like, I don't know, that's my life. That's my history. Hashtag ice cap history. Now apparently you can get ice caps with different shots in them. So I think you can get like a mocha ice cap that has more of like a chocolate flavor. I'm pretty sure there's maple. You can get a maple shot or something. Anyway, I think honestly just the classic ice cap, just au natural, that'll, that'll do you just fine. And if you drink enough of it fast enough, you can see into another dimension because the combination of caffeine and sugar um, opens up your, your third eye to an, another world. It's awesome. Now finally, the moment everybody has been waiting for. Maybe just I've been waiting for it. Timbits are one of the more famous parts about Tim Hortons. They are, like I said, just the little bite-sized uh, donuts. Personally, I would recommend getting a pack of assorted, so they'll just grab a whole bunch of random ones and put them in. Otherwise, if you find ones that you really, really love, you can get a pack of just that flavor, but I disagree with that personally. I think they should always be assorted. That's a little tidbit from me to you. A tidbit about Timbits. Now, I'm pretty sure I asked for t a 10 pack and she gave me 20 and I don't even think I paid for a 20 pack. So again, the ladies at, at Tim Hortons that served me today, God bless. You're doing the Lord's work. Now in this particular one, again, I got assorted. So um, I'll be honest with you. I've already eaten some, so if you count out, there's not 20. I've already eaten some. But that's kind of what they look like. They're just a bunch of bite-sized bits of different types of donuts. Um, because we were in the lockdown, there was only two women working, so they were really low on supplies. So I can tell you right now, I can see that a bunch of different flavors are missing. So this isn't like a true representation, if you can believe me. Like, I, I don't see any uh, the powdered ones. Which is kind of sad. But I'll be honest, I'm a weirdo and I like the ones that are just like the plain um, glazed. This. They're really good. Cheers. Oh my god. With a single bite, you were transported to a time when you were seven at your best friend's birthday party and they had Timbits on the table with like a bunch of pizzas and you're having Timbits and you're seven and life is easy and these are good and there's no such thing as a pandemic and there's no such thing as taxes and there's no such thing as impending doom because you're seven and you're having some Timbits. Absolutely delicious and if you want to be a little bit crazy, wash it down with some ice cap because then you get a double, a double sugar hit and you slowly start to lose the ability to speak English or any other language for that matter. So Timbits are a staple of Tim Hortons. 
Um, it's just the way that it is. All right, let's go ahead and have another one. Now, I actually don't like the, the chocolate glaze. I know I'm a psychopath. I know my mom likes these, so we're going to go ahead and leave some of these. We also have, I think these are called old fashions, where they're literally just plain. People who like the, the plain ones, something's wrong with you. We also have like this sugary dusted one. Those ones are pretty good. I've already had one of those. Then we have the very traditional um, plain glazed. These are really good, the plain glazed, but the one that I just had, I think it's like a, it's like a sour cream glaze or something. They look very similar, but they're slightly different color. Those ones are my favorite. Normally, we'd also have um, like a white powdered sugar one. They didn't seem to have that. That has jam in it. I never get a sprinkles one. I don't even think they exist. I think it's a myth. I've never gotten. Have you ever gotten a sprinkled Timbit? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> All right, let's have one more. Again, these are not like high quality donuts. Say you go to a beautiful little cafe in your town and they do like homemade lovely coffees and these beautiful donuts. Those will not even be close to these. These are just like run of the mill, mass produced basic donuts. But that doesn't mean they're not good, all right? They're good and they're nostalgic. And I think the nostalgia might be what makes them so fabulous. So, to recap, for your homework, Timbits. Make sure you get a pack of Timbits. You can just get um, a pack of 10 and make sure they are assorted. Make sure you try every single one in the pack and then have a sugar nap because you're gonna need it. Also, make sure to get a bagel. Make sure to maybe get a big donut. I, I don't get the big donuts that often because I normally like the Timbits, but you never know. You might find one that you really like. Plus, the big donut flavors are not necessarily in the Timbits box. So these are like the basic ones. If you want a specialty donut, you have to get a big one. The more you know. Also, definitely an ice cap. Mine's pretty much melted at this point, but that's okay, it's still good. And of course, make sure you get a Tim Hortons coffee. They also have a ton of hot drinks, lattes, mochas, I saw a maple latte and then at Christmas time they also do like gingerbread lattes and all sorts of different like hot chocolates and yeah lo loads of stuff. But this has been your introduction to Tim Hortons from a fellow Canadian. I don't even know if I said that at the beginning. Hi. <laughs> what was this video? I don't know. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and as a Canadian I've been living in England for the last four years, but I'm back in Ontario right now, and I haven't had Tim Hortons properly since I was last in Canada, which would have been like last summer or whatever. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys like the basic stuff from Tim Hortons. Of course, I couldn't get all the stuff that I wanted because, you know, we're in a pandemic, but we gotta make do. So I hope you learned something new. I do know, however, we have a lot of British viewers and there are Tim Hortons locations in the UK. I would like to go to one eventually, if I ever get back. But if you have been to a Tim Hortons, let me know what you think. I've heard that the UK Tim Hortons is really, really bad compared to the Canada ones. That's just the word on the street. I don't know if that's true or not. It's hard to compare if you've only had the UK and you haven't had the Canada, I know, but that's what I've heard. Now, apparently, why don't, get comfortable. Guys, get comfortable. Get ready for another story time and more opinions from me. When I knew Tim Hortons growing up, this was the stuff that was like the go-to. Your ice cap, your Timbits, your donuts, your bagels, your coffees, right? Also hot chocolate, as a kid, I loved their hot chocolate. That was really good. Now, Tim Horton seems like it's really trying to get into more of like the food stuff. So I know they have like breakfast, like muffin, um, you know, like an egg McMuffin from McDonald's. Tim Hortons does their own version of that kind of stuff. I would probably just go to McDonald's because I don't think they're very good at Tim Hortons. That's between you and me. 
but I know Tim Hortons is now trying to do more of that kind of like food stuff. I know they do like chicken wraps and paninis and I think some soups even. They also do a lot of frozen fruit smoothies. So like lemonade or like strawberry banana frozen smoothie, like that kind of thing. I think I've had those before. Those are pretty decent. But again, as a newcomer to Tim Hortons, I think this is like the main stuff that you should definitely try. And then once you've tried this stuff, you could go back and order all the other weird things on the menu. So you get a little bit of everything. Maybe don't go back to the same Tim Hortons because they'll think you're a weirdo. Maybe go to a different Tim Hortons and get all the other stuff. <laughs> I got so much wisdom, I'm just trying to pass on. Oh guys, how's it going? How's it going in here? I need to close these, otherwise I'm gonna eat all of them. And I offered my family to have some of them. Should I have done that? Maybe not, but... Mom, if you're watching, I purposely didn't eat the chocolate ones, okay? So please remember me in your will. I'm just kidding, that's grim. So, just to recap, make sure you get some stuff from Tim Hortons. I guess that was the message of this video. This video is not sponsored. Can you imagine? Tim Hortons is not high quality. It's not specialty, it's not posh, but it is very Canadian. And some of us like it, so. I was trying to think um, from my time in England, what would be the equivalent in England? And I'm not really sure. Some of the big chains in England would be like Cafe Nero or Costa or Starbucks. But I can't really think of a coffee shop that is fiercely English. You know, um, maybe there is. Leave a comment down below what you think the UK equivalent to Tim Hortons would be. Because Tim Hortons has really, very smartly... The smartly is a word, I know, but it doesn't sound like a word, does it? Tim Hortons has really marketed itself and solidified itself as, like, Canada's coffee shop. It's not true. I know loads of places out west in Canada prefer Second Cup, which is, at like, another coffee shop. Anyway, Tim Hortons, for some reason, really comes up in Canadian culture. So, I mean, great, great news for them. But I wonder what would be the equivalent in England, or the UK, for that matter. I don't know if there is one. Anyway, I think I'm gonna need a sugar nap. All right, get these away from me, otherwise I'm gonna eat them all. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you learned something, L maybe laughed a little bit. Otherwise, I hope it made you hungry, because it's time to eat. Because guess what, in quarantine, it's always time to eat. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting me here on YouTube and on Patreon and on Twitch and across social media. I really appreciate it. Times are really strange right now. And sometimes you just need to eat Tim Hortons on the floor of your parents' guest bedroom. And it was kind of one of those days. So I hope you guys are doing okay. If you've had Tim Hortons before, let me know what is your go-to order. Because for me, Ice cap, sesame seed bagel toasted with butter. And I'm a happy camper, that's all I need. Maybe Timbits on the side if I'm feeling a bit special. But yeah, bagel, ice cap, and I'm, and I'm sorted. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye. I'm gonna eat all those Timbits now. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I couldn't stop myself.